What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Uh, we're just over here at a secret spot. We're gonna go torching for taco, eels, and just really whatever we can find out here. Uh, I wanted to apologize for the late upload. The weather has been so terrible and it was midterm for me in school, so I just haven't been able to go out as much as I'd like. But the weather is clearing up now, so we can start going out a little bit more. And hopefully we can get some new videos every week for you guys. So stay tuned. Let's go see what we can find on the water and enjoy the video. Oh, there's one right there. Got him. Oh, little baby. Whoa. But uh, we're probably gonna look for something a little bigger than this guy. Oh. Now these night taco can be pretty aggressive, but we're looking for a bigger one for bait or just for uh, food. But yeah, little cute guy. <laughs> slippery, yeah? He's so slippery. He won't bite me, will he? Nah, do you wanna hold him some more? <laughs> Can't really hold <laughs> on to him, right? Me. Yeah. There he goes. There we go. Got another one. <laughs> oh, little dude, isn't he? All right, guys. So we are going for this uh, type of octopus. We're just going for a bigger one. So uh, all octopus in Hawaii have to be a pound to keep, and uh, these guys are probably not even an ounce um so we're just gonna let him go but hopefully we can find some bigger octopus on the flats let's just release him now why was that seaweed acting so octopus like oh you see right here it's a uh, little goat fish. Hello. The big octopus will swim right by your ankles. Because they're like curious about what the heck is going on. And it's scary because you think it's an eel at first, right? So it's like, oh my gosh, what is this thing? Why does that algae look so much like an octopus? Trying to catch a mullet with a bucket. So unfortunately guys, we did not see any more octopus that day. I did go fishing over spring break um, towards the end of it when I had some free time and uh, we did manage to catch a few things. So I'll go ahead and roll the clips right now. So we weren't seeing too much action at this spot, but we did manage to see this really cool stingray up in the shallows in the beginning of the night. Um, and other than that, we just had some sharks coming uh, up to our lights and just checking us out. And there were so many of these little sharks that were coming up in the shallows. So I decided to put some bait in the water, see what we can get. And uh, sure enough, we caught two sharks that night. Um, and one of them, I'll just roll the clip right here. Caught a shark while you were gone. But something was just striking this line and now it's gone. That's so weird. I'm going to check. Whoa. Hmm. Oh, there's a hammerhead up here. Oh, I think he's hooked onto mine. But mine is also under a rock, it looks like. Huh? Oh, yeah. He, he got himself wrapped around this uh, pylon, but it's getting too deep for me to go and reach, kind of. Maybe I can unwrap it. It's just sketchy. Oh. 
Now let me release the shark real quick. I think I might just cut it. But yeah, fortunately that shark was able to be released without any harm. Other than that, not too much action that night. But I do want to film a Samoan crab catching cook at that same spot. Let's just say that it's very productive and uh, that will be coming in the future, I promise. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helped me out and I'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks for watching.